Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Thursday, the 16th day of May 2024. I bring good news updates. We are experiencing a very difficult situation. Tell us how long it will take before the food is ready. That's according to Bishop Matthew Kuka. Yes, Bishop Matthew Kuka of the Sokoto Catholic Diocese. Yes, met with Bola Tinibu at the presidential villa in Abuja on Wednesday. After the interaction with the president, the Lord Bishop of Sokoto Catholic Diocese came out to interact with reporters at the State House, where he said that Nigerians are passing through hardship. Yes, economic hardship. He said the citizens are experiencing various degrees of pains being orchestrated by the economic wars they are experiencing at the moment. He is asking Bolatinibu to tell Nigerians how long it will take before the food is ready. Yes, of course he said the sufferings are unintended because that's what the president told him. Yes, so the hardship Nigerians are facing are unintended, meaning the administration or the regime has lost you know, the capacity or the technicality or wherewithal to pull the country out of its economic wars. Yes, that is it. They have lost whatever the, 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 the government can do to actually deliver its country out from the economic hardship. So the people are on their own at the moment. That's what it means. On your own for survival nobody is doing anything to rescue anybody from the present economic hardship you are going to suffer and suffer suffer that's what it means it said unintended pains we don't know what to do we are confused there's nothing we know we can do about it now so or you on your own that is the situation of things now and the man talking about the bishop asking Bolatinebo now tell us how long it will take so that let us know if we can endure if we can bear with you for this period of time before the food is ready oh yes tell us how long it will take for this food to get ready we have been waiting for this food to get ready we are not seeing the food and they are saying we don't know what to do again we lack the capacity we have we have lost the clue we don't know anything to do to ameliorate the situation or to get things right. So that is the situation now. Bishop Matthew Kuka is now saying, Nigerians, you have to guide your loins. Yes, it takes time for a country to be a better nation. And we're saying, for how long would it take? Oh, yes. So this suffering and everything is unimaginable as long as the people are concerned because they never believed that a regime will come and they begin to wish that they go back to Mbuhari Mbuhari era. Nobody believed that. They felt that, oh, no matter how bad it will be, oh, it will be better than Mbuhari's era. But here we are. Here we are. People are wishing to go back. Yes, people are dreaming. So how is it possible? It's not a dream. To see if they can, you know, begin to see the era of Mbuhari Mbuhari. Yes, the era that people felt, oh, is the worst regime in the history of the country. That nobody, no person, you know, should wish, you know, his enemy. Such a time that Buhari, you know, was the president. Yes, it was at the hems of their fear. See, nobody, nobody should wish his enemy such a time to come into his life again. But lo and behold, the citizens are under, you know, the worst administration, the worst regime. Oh, yes. So that is it. So which way forward? The only way forward is for freedom, liberty. Yes. So be our friends who have been on that path of liberty and freedom. They should continue. So the issue of, oh, it will get better. 
it has been, you know, it is obvious that there's nothing like that again. So nobody is supposed to talk about, oh, it will get better. Get better when? So nothing is getting better. It has gone beyond mercantilism. All right? Yes. The situation now has shown that nothing, you know, is being done to ameliorate the situation. Nothing. Those leading said they have lost, you know, or they are not, you know, they have the, they don't have the capacity to turn things around. Of course, the where the country is now at the present is still the same political party that kept the country there. Yes, they say they have no capacity to pull the country out from where it is. So the only option for people is for freedom. Look for your referendum. That's all. In the Biafra, it's time. So for people to be serious with your referendum, to exit, that's the only option. Since the administration, the regime, the government says they don't know what to do again. Those plans are unintended. Or yes, before it is, or before it was, oh, don't worry. This is, you know, temporary hardship. It will stop. By the time our reform starts to yield results, you see those things will disappear. The hardship will disappear. The sufferings will disappear. Now is we don't know what to do again. That's what they're saying. We don't know what to do. We are stranded. So government stranded. Don't know what to do. Yes. So citizens, what are you doing? They be Afra. Go for your referendum. Yes. Agitate for your freedom. That's the point. They don't know what to do again. They don't know the they have lost the capacity. They have lost the way with that, the technicality to make things to get right. Oh yes. So it's suffering, suffering, suffering. No food. No security, no electricity, good road, nowhere, okay? No pipe and water, okay? So that is what is happening. People are living like they are in the medieval era, whereas they are in the 21st century. So that is what is happening. Freedom, referendum, that is it. There's no two ways about it, no going back. We have said it every day in this contraption. Ex exposes them. It makes the agitation to gather momentum. Agitation for freedom, for Biafrans. Yes. Because they are the ones that are serious with their own liberation, their own freedom. We are seeing what uh, the Oduwa nation, they are doing. They are not serious. When they are serious, we will know. So the Biafrans are very serious for their own li liberation, liberation via referendum. And they're supposed to continue in that.